Look at that lovely hair on that horsey up there. You're looking gorgeous there, horse. Maybe one would say gorg horse horseshis gorg gorge horseshis. How's it going, everyone? My name is Graham, and welcome to Golfing Over It with Alva Mayho. It's a it's a new game in the Getting Over It style. Oh, I like the way that they have the moon and the golf ball like reflecting next to each other. That's that's kind of cute. So same as Getting Over It, and what was uh, Fish Out of Water? That one didn't share the same naming style, but that was another game that I played on the channel. That was the same sort of style of game. I haven't played this one at all. All I know, there's save points. I can, I don't have to do it all in one go, which is a nice relief, but more forgiving than I would ever expect a game like this to be. This one, I think, actually has narration, same as the original game, whereas the fishing game did not. Ooh, an achievement for my first swing. So I just have to click and drag. I don't actually control everything. Like, I, I can't... I can't actually see where my mouse is, which is one weird oddity, but I think no matter where I wing my mouse around on the screen, whenever I click, it auto-centers it on the ball, so that's different. Let's just chip our way over there. It doesn't seem to roll back a whole lot. I would have expected it to roll back in segments like that. See, there, there there's a specific steepness that it must roll back on. Probably have to go over the tree. But what can I do about the branch? There's no feeling more discouraging than starting over. And that's what you're about oh, to Oh, what do you know? It's not in English. <laughs> it's going to be deeply frustrating. You might take some of that frustration for disappointment. Oh, it's, it is it is in English. My mistake. Sorry, it's just heavily accented. Yours. Sorry if that's like terrible of me to not realize at first. You you're going to want to quit playing. And every time you don't, every time you find the strength to keep going, you will only be setting yourself up for a bigger fall. And if you manage to get to the top, will that make you feel good? Will you Maybe. Feel yeah, probably. It? I never did beat getting over it. I beat fish out of water, though. That one was significantly easier. I feel like I must have to start from the slightly higher part to launch myself over that tall branch. Shit, is that actually not the solution? What the shit? This is a prank game, right? There's no way over the friggin' first tree in the game. I don't I don't understand. It's not a good start. I feel like I'm stressing out already. Straight up, the best height it'll ever hit isn't good enough. So I immediately don't understand. I assume this tree blocks my path in that direction. Good. Good. <laughs> so it just can't be done, right? Like I must have to go off of this branch in some way, right? Because the way that that one sticks out, there's no way, there's no proper way around it. it. That made sense to me, that little higher platform there, but that's not anything either. Why? Why was that a thing? Why is that allowed? And so when it hits something, it turns black. But when it's still freshly up in the air, you can hit it a second time. Fuck you. Fuck you, tree. God damn you. What the hell was that? 105 hits to get over the first goddamn obstacle? That's some bullshit. That's... This game's... This game's got some evil in it. <laughs> Just do some quick little kick-ups there. Try and keep that shit alive. Oh, man. Oh, shit. I'm seeing now how ruined you get once you lose control of it. Okay, it's very punishing actually in that way. But all of a sudden now that I understand the mechanic better, I'm I'm less concerned about the game being like a hundred percent completely you unfair. Stop playing whenever you want. Your progress will be saved automatically. Your loss of progress too. Loss of progress too. I was gonna say like the the furthest I've made it will be saved because that's unreal. That's like a different game. Top of the stairs. That was its own achievement as well. Who? Oh, suck it! I can make it over this dumb shovel. 
The shovel seems like a safety. It seems like a nice marker for me. I won't fall back behind the fucking shovel. Man, you gotta click drag, click drag, like really, really quickly in order to pull this shit off. Alright. You settle yourself in right there. Oh, yes. Okay. I can do this. Oh, that shit's gonna be fucking impossible, though. Oh, thank God, there's that little sticking out part to protect me. This game me. is a different take on a game that came out in 2017, titled Getting Over It with Bennett Fabi. The author of that game, Bennett Fabi, <laughs> was an Australian designer known at the time as the father of intentionally bad controls. Weird, unresponsive, and hard to understand, intentionally bad controls are bad in the sense that they are suboptimal for the task at hand, making a challenging and infuriating experience of what otherwise could well be a walk in the park. And yet, they often make for amusing games. In getting over it, Does he do your other... task is simply to claim the power. Well, he has Quamp and getting over it. I don't know what other games he has that follow that design philosophy. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery, and the player is in constant danger of falling and losing everything. I watched a Shit. video of Bennett Fadi playing his own game, and it was interesting to see how erratically he approached his own challenges. <laughs> This is pretty funny, actually. It's pretty spastic. And he knew the movements he needed to execute. So he will make an attempt, but he will fail, without a clear reason why. So he will try again, exactly the same movements he attempted the first time. And he will repeat oh, the process fuck. until, eventually, it actually worked. Come on. Giving the impression that the challenge was more about perseverance and luck than precision. I thought getting over it was very much about, well, it's about persistence, but I thought it was also very much about precision. I thought that was like a big part of why that game isn't the worst game of all time is because like you can learn how to do it. And like once you, once you kind of learn the tricks, then it's not as bad as it, you know, originally seems when like on, on first glance, it's like the most impossible game of all time. But when you spend some more time with it, you realize the tricks. And like I said, I never beat it though. So I'd, who, who am I to say? Who, I'm, I'm the guy who couldn't figure out how to get past the first tree in this game. And it is my hand is sweating so bad already that I can't even pull off these like really simple jumps. What am I gonna do about that? There's got to be. I'm gonna put like something under my hand to stop my like wrist from slipping so much. This feels so stupid. This isn't, I can't imagine this will help at all. It's, yes, I believe this will only get in the way, but I'm gonna try it for a minute. I have like a, a shirt stuck under my wrist. No, it's just nothing but in the way. I thought, I thought it would be worth a try at the very least. How did I do this one? You ma you gotta manage to get the full power like more than once. Oh, but your max power is less. Like if I do it straight up, oh, you can't. It is the same. It just takes longer to build up to the max power, which is very dangerous because then you're more likely to hit things. That's like a very tricky little subtle mechanic in this that makes it insanely harder. See, like that. Now and again, you probably have to do that to, like, pull some of this stuff off. And that's when this game's going to become the worst game I've ever played. I, I dare say. Thank God that's there. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Hup. Tennis racket. Ah, boom. Yeah, tennis racket. You got me. Look at that lovely hair on that horsey up there. You're looking gorgeous there, horse. Maybe one would say gorg horse horseshis gorg gorge horseshis. Don't worry though, it will happen again. <laughs> and again. And again. Your your dumb game better have safeties the way getting over it did. Because that was the redeeming quality in that game. Like there were super, super fail points where it's like you would restart the game. But if this doesn't have at least a couple safety points where, like, you can attempt a section of the game unadulterated, if it doesn't have that, then I'm, I'm going to be pissed off at this. Let's see how well I can learn the, the gist of it, though. Like that. That's what I'm trying to do consistently here. 
Then you hit the wall. Then you roll down everything, though. It's just uh, fueled by pain and suffering. Fuck. You. There, that's what I wanted. I wanted that to give me a nice quick little reprieve. So I could chip myself up onto the tennis racket. The badminton racket, it's probably more of a badminton racket than a tennis racket if I was trying to be extra precise about it. Hey, look at that, I skipped the fence section. All right, I'm gonna land right on your back, you beautiful little horse, you beautiful beast. That's better than what happened last time. It sucks and I hate it, but it's better than what happened last time. <laughs> Come the fuck on. No, no, come on, save yourself. Do me, do me that quick little kindness, won't you? Who? Oh, fucking cocksucking bitch. Let's just step our way back up to here. Hey, there was a couple of achievements really close together, like first swing. Oh, shit. First swing, clear the tree, clear the stairs. I guess I haven't hit whatever the next landmark is going to be. Uh, next achievement, or next most likely achievement, fall from high enough an undefined amount of times oh so those I, I already have like three or four pretty big screw-ups who knows when they're gonna chime in and say yeah that's enough to laugh at you a whole bunch don't you dare don't you fucking that's not you get the feeling is like the momentum that you don't want there to be Working its way back down to the bottom. Makes you want to cry. No. Oh, I got it lined up all ready to take the next shot. I just have to watch it. Paint it out in black. N a hard no. A hard you cannot. A hard fuck yourself. Is what that is. What that represents. That's how I interpret it at least. If that wasn't the intent, then I don't know what was. Alright, this is I recognize this. I recognize this trap that I'm falling into from from getting over it. That you get annoyed, agitated enough that you start screwing up the simplest things. Like that's what I got going on right now. This staircase should be nice and simple, but I'm Pissed off just enough to not do it properly. I hate that little sticking out ridge part on the green rock. That's killed me enough times, and there's just, oh, there's just so many intricate little things that just fuck you around. The little bit of the yellow rock there that sticks out too, I hate it. I hate it as much as I hate the other shit. I hate it all. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. It dared. It dared. Right in God's face, it dared. There, that was nice and gentle and and good. Oh, man. That took so much longer than it had the last couple of times. That almost didn't work. I'm losing it. I'm already getting shakier at this somehow. I wonder how many times you can chain that together and how high I can go with it. I feel like it, it starts, like, deteriorating the amount of height you can get out of it, and, yeah, you can't. It, the game knows, the game knows to limit me from trying to cheat it, because I would. I would cheat that in every way imaginable if, if I could. If it would only let me. God, I hate this section. Screwed this up enough times already. Alright, horsey. I'm just trying to land on your beautiful mane. It's such a glorious mane, I just want to ride you. I just want to ride this horse. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Come on. That's not cool, man. Not. I'm not designed to take that sort of abuse. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at handling that kind of pain. Look at that, cleared right up the tree. Maybe I can start doing this 
Doing the stairs two at a time. Fuck. Or I can just fall all the way back down and start. All right, I'm ready to, to do it again. I'm ready, I'm feeling very least okay. If I can't golf over it, at least I, I could maybe get over it. That's, there's, there's something poetic about that, I believe. But I can't quite put my finger on what it would be. That's not good, that's fucked. Focusing on the destination will ruin the journey. If you let go there of was the, the achievement the falling back too much. More. It will be a relaxing experience, and falling will barely hurt. And if you keep playing, you will eventually get there. I, it's the the pain of it has already become more dull. I will admit that, but I don't think I like that feeling. I don't think I'm happy that <laughs> I'm more at peace with the fuck fuckery of this game. I just want to get over. The, I just want the easy the beginning parts to become easier. I don't want to be stuck on the same parts over and over again. You know, so I just want to. I just want to get over the stupid piece of shit tree. I wanted. I just, I just don't want to be stuck on the first part. <laughs> that's all I'm asking. That's all. That's the bare minimum I want right now. Let me wipe the grime away. That's just what you call being in the zone. Like <laughs> I thought, I thought I was doing it so well there. <sighs> the zone is. The the zone is. A lonely place. Some think of the zone as when they get into like a set of automatic subconscious functionality where they don't even have to think about the next step. It just lays itself out before them so naturally that they, it all just unfolds so beautifully that it's just effortless. But for me, the zone is fucked. <laughs> That's all. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I... That's what I think of the zone. So I'm in the zone. It's not a good thing. When I tell you I'm in the zone. That means I'm falling deeper and deeper into like horrible eye gouging despair. Your, your like wrist starts getting a little bit sore and sweaty and you get more annoyed because you know you've beaten the part like six times before, 10 times, who the fuck knows at this point. And so then you start trying to do it quickly because you're like, ah, it's, th this shouldn't even be a challenge anymore. I should have learned by now. I should know better. It shouldn't even be difficult. And then it just slaps you in the ass, but not a nice, kind slap, like a, like a bitch slap. It's like you thought you knew, you thought you knew how to get past this part of the game. Well, fuck you. That was very lucky, by the way. I probably should have died. Come on, man. Just. Oh god, that was a panicked swing. My wrist is not like cooperating properly anymore. How the fuck am I ever gonna complete this part that I've that I've literally never managed to do yet? How am I gonna do it now when my wrist isn't even fucking working anymore? That's exactly what I wanted all of those other times that I ever attempted that. That's fine. I was scared that I was going to hit the kind of, you know, the roof, the roof part of the cloud there. Oh, you can get stuck on the handle even. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> that's, that's better than resetting. Uh, and so I was trying to be careful about doing the two shot in the air there, but you need to. It's a necessary thing. If I were to make a getting over it style game, what would it be? What kind of, what kind of dumbass way could I set up some sort of premise that would involve slapping yourself around a level until you get flung all the way back to the fucking start. What would that look like? What what would my version of that be? I want it. I want to get to that horse and eagle again. That's like the bare minimum that I want to do here is reach that like once more. Oh, it fucking hit the side of the stupid thing. I've never done that before. It's a brand new way that I fucked it all up. I think I've like reached a breaking point where I'm getting worse at it and I'm making just the stupidest mistakes, but understand that it's also very hard. It's partially me sucking and then uh, also very, very much so fuck this game. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. We made it back to the beautiful horse. 
That's not going to do it. That's not going to make it. That's a weird place for that to land. That's new, I think. Come on, tennis racket. Come on, random sticking out part. Fucking wrong, random sticking out part. You, you fucked me. I gotta make it back there one more time. <laughs> I wanna ride that horse one more time because I wanna try and make it to the eagle. Apparently, get to the eagle is literally the next achievement. I just checked. Get to the eagle is the next, like, checkpoint of, like, oh, congratulations, you did something in this game rather than just smacking your ball around into nothing 707 times. There's no way that's all it's been. There, has there not like reset points or whatever because I've been doing this for a while and I every time I get to this section I feel like I hit the ball 300 times Let, let's do a quick check on it it must actually that's all it is I mean that's like sucks that's like not a good number it makes me feel stupid but that's so much better than I, a million other things that it could have been right right why the fuck can I do that is uh, Getting in gross hands. There is a hard limit to the length that you can spend on a game like this. Whoops. And I would say it's something around an hour, an hour and a bit, because after that it just gets to be so goddamn fucked. And your hands stop working, and you got like just the most insane amount of like tension in your shoulders and everything. It's the worst that I people, me included, put themselves through stuff like this. Just shoot yourself right over there, huh? Just not even gonna not even gonna bother with the horse. Just not today, hey? Not feeling it? Horse isn't feeling hay? You fucking kidding me. Come on. That stupid fucking that little thing that sticks out couldn't couldn't catch me and bail me out of that one. Come the fuck on. It's just I want to at least land on the horse now. I don't even care if I make it to the eagle. I just want to land on the horse. When you do the stairs quickly, it makes you realize how not far you've made it. And that really... That stings. <laughs> Fucking terrible shot. What a god-awful shot that was. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. That's going to fucking... Oh, God. <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know how to land on the horse consistently. I can't figure that one out. I don't know how to... I miss its back every fucking time. I'm doing better with the stairs, though. That's, uh... That's promising. That makes me feel a lot better. Because then when I die... In these parts, it's uh, it's not quite so bad to get back to the. That's and that's part of the that's part of the whole narrator's thing is like, eventually it won't feel that bad, and that's because it you you've already suffered. You just eventually hit like a suffering limit, and then that's just all you can fucking tolerate, you know. Once you've hit that shit, what is this? What did I just do? Did I screw it up enough times that it bailed me out? Or did the game decide that it was its fault in some way? What happens if that happens again? I didn't mean to screw it up again. I did want to actually do it. But I was like, what if it fails again? I got one, one freebie, one free save, and I wasted it. I super wasted it. That's more demoralizing than the rest of it. That feels worse. I was given my second chance and I threw it away. Why does that feel so terrible? That feels worse than losing otherwise. That sucks. I suck. I'm bad at this. Oh, man. That's, gonna, that's where I'm going to have to leave it because now I just feel like a drained sack of shit. What a loser. I'm just... I'm a loser. I guess. Thanks for watching. See you again. Never. Probably. <laughs> oh, what the hell just happened?